Amelia and if you don't know that if you're new to this channel today we're talking about how to kick your horse at the trot and in nicer terms we're going to say how to properly influence your horse to move forward at the trot I'm going to talk first about how to do it at the posting trot because that's a little bit more complicated and then how to kick your horse at the sitting trot because they're a little bit different so this is Don Carlos, he's our demo horse today. So first of all, we're going to pick up a posting trot. And I have some other videos on how to correctly post the trot because that's a lesson in of itself. But it's important first off that when you're posting the trot, you want to think about that the posting trot is just from your knee up. So your lower leg should be still in the posting trot um, from the knee down. So like when you're posting, your lower leg shouldn't be like going like this, because if your lower leg is going like that in the posting trot, then you're already kind of kicking your horse. And so you're not going to have any effect when you do kick them. So that's the first thing is to really make sure that your posting trot is correct. Now, when you are posting and you feel like your horse is behind the leg, the most correct thing to do is to close your calf. So to close both your calves and get your horse moving forward. Now, if you close your calf and that doesn't work, you need to give your horse a kick. The first thing is you need to take your leg off. Then you give your horse a kick as your butt is coming down into the saddle. So as you're on the way down, that's the time where you are able to coordinate a kick. So if I wanted to kick my horse, it would be kick, 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 kick. Good boy. You saw how he went nicely forward. And now it's important to reward your horse when they respond correctly to you. Let me show you that once the other way. So you notice how when I kicked, I did kick, release, kick, release. So kick, release, kick, release my leg. I did not, what I did not do is I did not do what I call the kick and grind. So I did not go kick and then keep squeezing my horse. Now the other thing that you'll notice and what I see a lot of people do is that when they go to kick, they lean forward and their hands come up like that. So it's like kick and pull, kick and pull, kick and pull, like this, kick and pull. So when you kick your horse, you wanna keep your hands down and the kick is basically just from your waist down. So those are my tips for posting trot. Now we're gonna go to sitting trot. So sometimes it is easier to kick your horse in the sitting trot because you don't have to deal with coordinating the posting. But for a lot of riders, like if you're a more beginner rider or you're riding a green horse, you need to get them warmed up and do most of your ride in the posting trot to allow your horses back to warm up properly. Um, again, you always are working on training your horse to just respond off your calf. So the kick is kind of the last resort. So always start with squeezing your calf. But then same thing, if I'm going to kick my horse in the trot, I'm going to open my leg first, give him a little kick and take my leg off again. So I'm not going to kick and squeeze. I'm going to open my leg, kick and take my leg off. Now you have a few options. Sometimes I'll kick my horse, like if I want a quicker trot, I'll kick my horse twice in one trot stride. So I'll go kick, kick. You see that, how he got quicker. Now, if I don't necessarily want to quicken the tempo and I just want to get a bigger trot stride, I'll do more of where I go press, 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 press. So that time you saw he went bigger. Let me show you again. Press, kick, 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 kick. He went bigger, but not necessarily quicker because I was giving him little baby bumps in the trot rhythm. 
Now again, if I want to make the trot rhythm faster, I'm going to give him a little kick kick. And you saw how there the trot rhythm got faster. Good boy. Good boy. Now in the sitting trot, again, what I see happen a lot is that when people kick their horse, they lock up their hips. So let me see if I, so here I'm sitting, sitting, sitting. Now a lot of times people kick and then they kind of like they tighten up here. So when they kick, their hips lock up. And that's really giving conflicting aids to your horse. So it's really important that you have independent seat so that when you kick your horse, your hips are still really following in the motion. And then the other thing that I see a lot, which is the same as in the rising trot, is that when people kick, they also lean forward and pull. So they'll like kick and then at the same time they'll do this and they'll stiffen and lock their arms. Sorry, Don Carlos. So don't do any of those things. Really think about when you kick your horse that it's independent and that your seat and your hands stay out of it. Good boy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Sign up for my email list in the links below. And we have some great dressage training videos and we love our horses. We love training dressage. So comment below and say hi. Tell us where you're from. I hope you enjoyed this video. The end.